Good morning, Ren. I wanted to share, oh, Callie wants to say hi and also go to the fireplace. Okay, I wanted to share the video situation with you. So I have this piece of paper and it says the power for the TV is the long remote and you just hit the red button. The master remote really for all the streaming is the Apple remote. And then this just gives you the surround sound. If you don't turn this on, it's okay. So we're just gonna do it in real time. I turn the power button on. And there's that little chime you can hear kind of on the top of the TV. And the TV just shows that right now. So then what I do next is I pick up the Apple remote and I click on this, this, and this. And it, for whatever reason that, makes the TV think about what it's done and it will go on. Kelly's gonna make another appearance. Okay, now the third remote I use just for the surround sound and I only hit this power button and and sometimes I have to turn it, I have to hit it up high. <laughs> I don't know why. Hold on a second. Now it doesn't wanna turn for me. There, okay, so when I hit it, it will like black for a second, but then it'll go right back. Um, and so now everything's in surround sound. And the Apple remote is the one that takes the most like adjustment, but really the menu button will get you back and back and back. And then if you want to see like different screens, you hit this button, whoops, sorry. Menu button will get you back, back, back. And then this button, when I hit that, it actually like, kind of like on your phone, where you can swipe between different things, we'll let you do that. So I have like several things open um, and I can swipe, a, swipe them away. But this is really your master remote for like all the streaming, right? So I just, and then this is essentially like the toggle that goes back and forth ever so subtly and goes up and down and if I like it then I can hit enter right um, when you hit enter on Paramount I am one of the users it's me and Annette and other people in Annette's family so I just click on mine um, to see that but I hope this little tutorial will get you more um, you know, access and then just call me and troubleshoot or FaceTime me and troubleshoot. And then when I turn off the TV or whatever, I just exit out of the menu just for fun. And then I only hit the red button off. I don't do anything else. Everything else kind of goes to sleep. And then every time I turn it back on, but it will also sleep itself and turn itself off after a half an hour. Um, Another like fun feature is you can cast things from your phone to the TV if you do the screen mirroring, but that's not going to be part of this tutorial. But I hope that is the trick. Thank you so much again uh, for being here, and I hope and wish you lots of fun watching lots of TV. Okay.